Hey guys, this is Mark. And this is Michelle. And we're back for another episode of This is Mark and Michelle. And tonight we'll be talking about heavy metals and how they affect the brain. Because we're still talking about why autism can be healed. Right. <laughs> and we're just going through each individual subject under that larger heading to uh, over the next couple nights. So, but heavy metals, we can get started right away. Uh, how about we talk about a couple of stories, though, because this will give you an idea <clears throat> of uh, how heavy metals can affect the brain. Hey, Josh, how's hey, it going? <clears throat> um, let's give a Michelle story. <clears throat> so back in 2018, when we started uh, the medical medium diet, uh, <clears throat> we did the 28-day cleanse. Now, the 28-day cleanse is basically uh, salads and potatoes and no fat. Were there potatoes? Yeah, we had potatoes. Okay. And I uh, looked at it for a while. Yeah, it has been a while. A year and eight months. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was potatoes. But uh, uh, but salads, dates, uh, all kinds of fruit and smoothies and the heavy metal detox smoothie. It's pretty much just mm -hmm. no fat and plant based. Yeah, we did a little bit of fat, but uh, throughout the whole 28 day cleanse. Well, and even longer, we kept doing the heavy metal detox smoothie for, I think, three months before we realized yeah. we were detoxing too much. And so, um, but in that first 28, actually about 35 maybe, five days, yeah. uh, we were doing the hard, the hardcore cleanse. cleanse and the heavy metal detox smoothie. Well, uh, the, as Michelle did that for that 30 days, uh, she finally realized <clears throat> that the heavy metal detox smoothie cleared out <clears throat> enough metals at least so that her anxiety went away. Right. I was saying I used to be anxious. Anxious. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I used to be anxious and I'm not anymore. What happened? Oh, that must have worked. And then Mark for two weeks was pee and gray pee. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting. I didn't know how uh, you eliminated heavy metals. But the abstract to a scientific article that I posted last night uh, from 1995 says that uh, when you eliminate heavy metals, especially with cilantro, uh, you urinate them out. And I thought, hmm, well, that, corroborated that corroborates my experience. Right. All right. And so what's interesting Another story, one of uh, a my story now. <clears throat> uh, during that same 35 day period, uh, like I said, I peed out the heavy metals and happened to notice the the gray urine, and I thought, huh, that's weird. And I didn't immediately notice any uh, changes, but I did. Mm -hmm. They were so gradual that it didn't bother him. Because on the gaps, when he would change, it would be dramatic. Right. But this was gradual enough that he was just easing into the awakening. Mm-hmm. And nothing was obvious to me. But uh, I had been working hard on communication, on getting better at it. And so uh, after that 28-day cleanse uh, and eliminating heavy metals and that type of thing, uh, Michelle noticed that my uh, verbal communication got much better. I mean, I don't know how you quantify that except to say that what we realized is my uh, emotional, emotional in intent in my head lined finally up. lined up with the words. I should say the words were lined up with the intent that I had in my head for the first time. So I didn't have to emotional. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was emotional. So my the emotions and the words and the intent in my head all lined up together to form a one one focused, coherent message, a unified message, a unified message. There we go. And it was stunning for me because he had never been able to do that. And during the recovery up to that point, he was throwing off emotions he didn't intend to throw off. So we would get into fights because we didn't I didn't know that he wasn't intending that. And this was, it was remarkable for the first time for him to say exactly what he meant. And it was clear cut. There were no questions. 
I knew exactly what he meant. It was very exciting. Yeah, I didn't have to waste a bunch of words explaining what I meant. Well, it was always after the fact explaining. I didn't mean to say it like that for it to mean that. I I meant this. And there was always had to be an explanation. Mm -hmm, exactly. And this was the first time when everything just coalesced together into a unified uh, communication. And I have a memory of it. It was that stunning. Mm -hmm. Right. And so that was awesome because I'd been working hard towards that uh, on the gaps and it didn't occur on the gaps. So fortunately, uh, the medical meeting got dropped into our lab and uh, this happened. And you know, <clears throat> what is interesting is that <clears throat> Medical Medium in his first book, The Medical Medium, uh, one of the chapters, and I don't remember which, what the number of the chapter was, but it's the one on autism and ADHD. <clears throat> and he said to him, the only cause of autism really, or ADHD, is tox a toxic load of heavy metals and where they're located in the brain. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the brain, ha two halves two hemispheres and right down the middle there's a canal called the corpus callosum well that canal and and the nerve bundles below the, below that area uh, those uh, nerves in there there's the nerve population or the nerve density is much higher there than it is in the rest of the brain because what happens is the corpus callosum is the area where one side has nerves that go to the other side so that both halves can communicate, both hemispheres can communicate at the same time. And <clears throat> so when uh, heavy metals get in that area, the corpus callosum, the midline of the brain, he doesn't use the word corpus callosum. Uh, I just know that from biology. He uses midline, the midline canal. And when heavy metals get in there, mercury and aluminum, they literally interfere with how both halves of the brain communicate. Yeah. Right. They can't. They, can't. they get the, the communicatory channels get blocked. Right. And uh, the heavy metals interfere with the nerve impulses going back and forth. Oh, and that makes me want to say Mark started having intuition when he lost those metals. Uh, a better intuition. One you had been seeking. Oh, the, I've been complaining about it. Oh, when is my intuition going to come on? When is this going to work? When is this going to happen for me? And uh, after that 30-day cleanse, 28-day cleanse, or 35-day cleanse, whatever <laughs> can't it was. I remember now. <laughs> well, it was more than 30. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but after that, uh, things just started coming on in stages, intuition being one of them. Uh, coalesced unified communication being the other and uh reading people better being another and so but that midline canal the corpus callosum area if that's all blocked off the logical side of your brain isn't really communicating with the uh or the logical side of your brain really isn't communicating with the creative side of your brain all that well and so um uh that 28 day cleanse really jump started that for and so for her, it really got rid of anxiety, but I'm sure it made her intuition stronger. She already had yes. a strong one anyway, but yes. I really think it ratcheted it up. Yeah. Ratcheted, that's a hard word to say. Ratcheted. It. Ratcheted it up <laughs> quite a few notches. And so. Uh, Uncomfortably so, actually. Right. Well. I had to get used to it. Yes. And, and that took some adjustment, mm -hmm. you know, from both of us, but it, we had to adjust to each other too because all of this happened. Well, and I had been mm -hmm. diagnosed ADHD mm -hmm. in the 2000s at some point. Mm -hmm. And so that cleared that up. I too. guess because I don't have issues. Right. But now, you know, I felt like the GAPS diet did something for me with that too. I'm not sure. That, mm -hmm. So, well, maybe one, one maybe of the few benefits you got on the GAPS diet. Mm -hmm. That and IBS went away. Well, true. And migraine. And migraines mostly went away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so um, with the heavy metal detox, and I had since uh, since the first time back in January of 2018, I've done the heavy metal detox one, two, uh, well, this is the third time since then, so a total of four times. 
But the two times between 2018, January 18, and now, two of those times I overdosed. Hey, Marlo. And uh, two of those times I overdosed on the ingredients and caused myself extreme anxiety, mm -hmm. like I've never had before, and extreme panic emotions and terror and all that. It was probably pulling stuff out too quickly. Yeah, detoxing too quickly. Now, you know, if you guys are, for those of you guys who are uh, doing the heavy metal detox, and you should, uh, <laughs> slow down if your emotions get out of whack. Yeah, if you're really sick, do uh -huh. a quarter of the ingredients. Exactly. To start with, see mm -hmm. how it happens, how it deal, have, blah, blah, blah. How, how you handle it. That's, that's it. Right. And uh, because the best way to manage detox is to slow it down. Not speed it up, slow it down. Because speeding it up will make you unmanageable. <laughs> Ask me. I know. That happened to me twice. And she had to come save me. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, if you guys doing the detox, slow it down if it gets too much. If your emotions get out of whack, you get panicky and terror-stricken. And, and your anxiety goes through, your, through, the roof, through nine roofs or the mm -hmm. apartment building above you. Slow down. Sometimes you just have to stop. Especially adults since you have jobs. Yes. It's a lot easier to get kids to do this. Exactly. And, and keep them consistent. But adults have to work. Yeah. And you can be consistent. You just have to, have to be consistent uh, in a manageable way. Can you talk about the article you found today, the filter using cilantro? Yeah. Give me just a second. I want to talk about the midline one oh, more yeah. time. Okay. <clears throat> Medical medium says that by 18, that midline closes up, and it makes it very difficult to detox the heavy metals. He says that you adults who have ADHD or autism, he says he says that you'll likely continue with the uh, continue having the, the condition uh, if you don't uh, judiciously and consistently and uh, very hardcorely. There's a term for you. Hardcorely. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what it was. And. Uh, uh, continue to detox of heavy metals all the time. Well, <clears throat> I can tell you that as, in that case, 49 and now 50, uh, I'm well past 18. <laughs> okay? Since I'm well past 18, I'm going to tell you, I think he's wrong. Right? Because I think once you get rid of the heavy metals and periodically, every six months or something, you just do the detox smoothie for a few days or, or a couple of weeks, you're going to maintain your detox state well. And he says that he thinks that you'll just continue with the condition. I disagree. And if I ever meet him in person, I'm going to tell him that. Because I haven't had any problems with autism-like symptoms since I detoxed you that first time. Right. And on the gaps, he did. Yes. He regressed on the, the gaps. Exactly. And he's not regressed at all on, nope. this, on medical medium. I haven't. Now... She wanted to talk about that article I found today about cilantro, okay? Now, the article I posted last night, the scientific researchers used cilantro to move heavy metals like mercury and aluminum, the two biggest culprits in autism, and in this case, uh, other conditions, out of the body. They use cilantro, all right? I saw uh, Dr. Merkula. Uh, that was the source of the article I found today, and he said cilantro is good for the same thing, but... What's interesting is he talked about in Mexico City, they are taking wastewater and dumping it in large pools. And so what I was doing was looking up if other forms of cilantro would be just as effective as the fresh. <laughs> and so the article talked about these large wastewater pools, like water from mines, uh, from steel mills, and that type of thing. Mm, metal, and, metal water. Mm, uh, exactly. And... Uh, they used to use bacteria called archaeans. It's a special type of bacteria, and they would put these in mines to eat away the acidic water and the metals in the water because they take up the metals and they detoxify the water. Well, what they're doing in Mexico City is they're taking large tubes and filling them with dried cilantro. They're throwing these large tubes into of dried cilantro into the wastewater pools, and allowing the cilantro to detoxify the water of heavy metals. It's amazing. <laughs> right? That means dried cilantro will work. That means cilantro extract will work. 
fresh cilantro will work because apparently whatever it is in cilantro that that will uh, pull out the heavy metals is in there in whatever form it is. That's an interesting, very interesting. So that was on Dr. Merkel's site. I can actually post that after we get done here. But um, anyway, uh, quickly, mercury and aluminum, and I've already talked about this. This is just from a couple of slides I have. But mercury and aluminum are the major culprits in autism as far as heavy metals are concerned. Now, medical medium, he says he thinks that's the only cause. Well, I'm going to disagree because I think SIBO is involved. Uh, I think there are viral and bacterial uh, infections that are involved in autism, certain autism behaviors and that type of stuff. Well, I think he's agreeing with you. He's separated it out like metals are that, but all the other symptoms are viruses or stress. Oh, why is he talking about that in one of the other books somewhere? I mean, we don't yes. need to go into that now. Okay. So no, he doesn't talk about it specifically to autism. He says like SIBO is he says what SIBO is, and then he says what pandas is. Oh, okay, okay. Right, I so see what it's you're separated. Saying. He just doesn't lump all of those things under autism. We well, do we only do. because we know. Yeah. Well, that's basically what I'm saying, I guess. But uh, uh, heavy metals can be removed by chelation. All right. Now there are pharmaceutical drugs that do it, but these drugs have to be monitored when they're used to chelate heavy metals out because they can damage your kidneys, your liver, and God knows what all else. But these drugs are DMPS or DMSA. And I don't remember the particular uh, full names of them, but those are the pharmaceutical drugs used to chelate heavy metals out of a person's body. Now, some of you folks on here may have or are on the Andy Cutler method, which is an all natural method and uh, interestingly enough, on that chelation method, you can't eat cilantro. So if cilantro, and oddly enough, even on those pharmaceutical drugs I talked about, you can't eat cilantro when you're taking those drugs either. Why would that be? Because cilantro chelates out heavy metals, right? <clears throat> and so uh, there may be other protocols uh, to chelate out heavy metals naturally. I, I just don't know what they are. And I'm not really familiar with the Andy Cutler method uh, other than I know that it does take out heavy metals. But uh, uh, cilantro and it, medical medium even recommends parsley. Mm -hmm. uh, parsley does the same job. may not be it's not as, as strong, strong I, think I think it's so. what it is. But I'd have to check that out. But so anyway, if you're having trouble with the cilantro, use parsley until you get enough out that you're detoxed and then cilantro. Right. So um, uh, as far as heavy metals go, though, they really interfere with how the brain works. I'm sure that uh, the emotional cues that autistic people miss, that I missed when I was autistic, are caused by heavy metals being present in areas of the brain. Uh, the, the need for explicit learning and the inability to just pick up what you need to know, I'm sure that's affected by heavy metals. I'm, I'm sure it causes those problems and God knows what all else. And so, <clears throat> well, and those metals, as you age, start rusting and that's what starts causing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. Well, and medical medium says that basically Alzheimer's is heavy metals that have oxidized and are starting to, uh, rusting is oxidizing, yes. but uh, rusting and rotting away the brain. And uh, I think we've heard of one or two cases of people completely reversing their uh, Alzheimer's using the medical medium. I have stuff. not heard that yet. Uh, I've seen one on one of the sites. Have but, you? Yeah, but uh, that's been a while back. But um, definitely try it though. That's better than losing your mind. Agreed. So <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Was there anything else we wanted to? Nope. Nope. That is it for tonight. Unless you guys have questions, we will take those now. See any. Nope. Okay, guys, we will see you at the same time tomorrow night. Do your heavy metal detox smoothie, do your cell reduce, and we will be back here tomorrow night talking about gastrointestinal damage and how that affects autism. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.